YouTube family, TG Current, back with another video. And I just want to say, I have a little prayer for you guys. I want to say, dear Lord, I thank you for this day that you have given me. I thank you for everything that you have supplied my way. I thank you for letting the universe be my guide. And I thank you for the people that's in my life. I thank you for everybody that's here with me because I cherish that relationship with them. I pray that you continue to let me, to, you lead me to to the way that I need to be guided, and I continue to be on the on the path that I need to be on, and I'm grateful for everything that is uh, coming my way, and that's all I have to say. Amen. How's it going, YouTube family? Uh, welcome to my channel, TG Current Vlogs, and if you follow my Instagram, you watch my Instagram. Welcome. IG family. Today is Saturday, October, I believe October 3rd, if I'm not mistaken. And um, we're waking up and we're starting our day, you know. Um, and um, I'm just grateful because I had, I, ro I rose in my bed, you know, every day it's like a day being reborn because I get to rise up and I get to see the sun and I get to see the sun go down. So there's no complaints there. So um, we just continue to complete our mission. We're going to get back in the gym. We're gonna get, we're gonna get back to running here in a little bit after you know some stuff heals, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna get back to moving. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoy your weekend. I hope you you guys enjoy your Saturday, your Sunday, and um, stay blessed. And there's always a book that I'm reading because when you read books, whether you read books, you watch podcasts, you listen to podcasts, every time you read or listen. You increases, you increase your chances of increasing your character. Not only your character, but your communication skills with people. When you read books, you you become more open and you become more aware, and you can host a conversation with people more easy and easier. Uh, I would say, and it just opens up your door for communication a little bit more. And um, it just makes you an overall better person and individual. So I'm always reading and um, I'm gonna show y'all a little bit of something, what I got. You see, uh, I got all these books here. Um, don't mind that. But this is right here uh, by uh, Napoleon on the Hill. I got a book right there. I got two books right there. I got Think, Think, uh, it's Think and Grow Rich. So, you know, I got about 10 new books that I'm reading and that's what I'm doing. So I'm, I'm continuing to sharpen my mind, not only sharpen my mind, but my mind, body, soul, and spirit. And we're just staying true to ourselves and we're getting the mission done. So um, that's what we're doing. And um, we're just, we're living life, man. I'm just saying we're living life to the fullest and um, never, never hold back on living life. As long as you're living life right, and you're, you're, you're not doing any wrong, you know. Um, we all have our flaws, we all have our sins, but um, as long as you're not, you know, causing harm to others and uh, you're not doing others wrong, because best believe me, it will catch up with you when you're doing somebody wrong or you're doing something wrong. You will get caught eventually and um, your the punishment will be three times worse, you know. And when I say punishment, I mean karma, whatever happens, you know, to you. So just always be pure hearted, always have true intentions and never try to play people. Don't don't play people like we are, we have enough in this world. So don't be playing with people emotions. Don't be playing people. Don't try to finesse people. Don't try to manipulate people. And the people out there that do that shit, stop that shit. For real, stop that shit. Have an open mind, be kind to each other, be loving to each other. We don't need no more hatred in the world, you know. Uh, yeah, protect yourself at all costs. Protect yourself at all costs, your family at all costs. Because people, they don't care. They don't care about anything. You know, there's some people out there that, that are really ready to, to cause harm on other individuals. So I would say just always protect yourself and um, your family by any means. Um, what else can I, what else can I say? Um, just stay, just, like I said, always remain humble and pure. Humble and pure. And find time to do something that you enjoy doing. 
to take your mind off, you know, things. Uh, negativity is a disease. Not only is negativity negativity is a disease, uh, your thought process when it's bad is a disease. You you have depression, and depression is a disease. So when you're thinking ill thoughts, and we and when you're thinking negative thoughts, and when you're feeling negative, that is a disease. So clean your mind, cleanse your mind, cleanse your mind, body, soul, spirit, and figure out who you are as a person. Figure out what makes you tick. Figure out what makes you feel the way you feel, and fix it. Uh, fix it, you know. Everything is in your mind. Your mind controls your body, and your your thoughts control your feelings and your mood and how you feel. So just try to try to uh, try to fix whatever's broken. You know, whatever's broken. Let's uh, we talk about like jealousy and envy for a minute. Um, never let that stop you from your game you know of course there's going to be people who are jealous of you there's going to be people that envy you there's going to be people that's proud of you there's going to be people that adore you you know um never let that stop you whether they adore you whether they envy you continue to do you continue to live continue to um to do you continue to be happy continue to share your happiness continue to love continue to show your love and um continue to be pure and if anybody has an issue with that, you know, uh, there's only there's either two options, uh, do something or don't do nothing, you know. So it's, those are the two options um, because I realized that from middle school and high school, yeah, we get older in age, but uh, people just remain bullies, you know, just at an older age. And uh, <laughs> we ain't having that over here. So... Um, we're, we're, we're handling our business and uh, we, we're taking care of one or other, one another. And um, if a person has an issue with one, we got an issue with all. So uh, we, don't, we don't want any issues. We just want to be at peace. But, you know, as y'all can see, you know, love and war, you know, that's what it is. Uh, we, we can shut it off. We can shut off the peace for a second to, to handle what needs to be handled and just go back to to peace you know because it's all in the mind so um just 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 uh, continue to be good man continue to be good and trust make sure that you have people that you can trust on your team and they can trust you and um there's no disconnection in that trust there's no disconnection in that loyalty whether it's your mom, your father, your your daughter, your brother, your husband, your wife, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your your friend, you know, whatever you the relationship may be, because we you, to build a team you need trust, and you need to learn how to work together as a team to to handle certain situations if it's a team effort, you know, you, you got to learn how that person thinks, you know, um, to beat somebody at the game, you got to become them. You got to see what they do. So you got to study that individual. To be somebody at the game, you got you to gotta become that person. You got to learn how they think, learn how they move, and strategize. Become them, but become a better version of them to beat them. But um, when you're working in the team, everybody has different personalities. Everybody has a different character trait. Everybody has an advantage and disadvantage of pro and con uh, about them. Uh, you know, some people may have speed, some people may have power, some people have more knowledge than other people, some people may have a different skill than you, you know, so you, you got to know your team and you got to know who's on your team. So just remember that. How's it going YouTube? How's it going IG? TG Current back with another video. Uh, we're going to make at least two to three videos. That's the goal for throughout the, throughout the week is to uh, get two to three videos produced and, you know, just... Uh, Keep it going with the videos, whether it's a one minute, two minute, three minute little audio sessions, podcast slash, you know, audio session, or, you know, three full 20 minute vlogs, 18 to 20 minute vlogs. That's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to produce. And we got the pictures going. We got the photography going. Uh, we got the videos going. 
and we're in the process of creating the studio. Um, we're gonna get the equipment within about a month or two. So we're just making sure that everything's set. Um, it's, it's nothing major, but you know, uh, it's, it's a change. So it's gonna be, it's gonna look better and it will be better, better content, better production. And we're gonna get this channel blossom and we're gonna get it rocking and rolling. So that's what it is. Keep believing, keep believing in yourself. And not only keep on believing in yourself, but keep on putting in that work because you can believe all day and you know, you have to put actions. You have to match your words with your actions. You have to match your actions with your words. So just uh, keep on reading books, you know, that's what I'm doing. You know, that's that's um, what's making me right now, all the books that I'm reading. And I know y'all can't see the titles, but I'm just, I'm just showing you guys, this is just what I'm doing with my time. Nobody can ever take the knowledge away from you once you gain that knowledge and you can just continue to read, grow your library. Cause one day, one day it, the hard work and everything that you learn will pay off. And so that's just some of the books right there that I have uh, within the last well, what two weeks. I, I finished one of them. Um, I read about five of them and I go back and forth throughout them. But, um, right now I, um, I'm enjoying this book right here, Master of Your Emotions. And I'm going to tell y'all a little bit more about that book later on throughout, um, time when I create other videos. But besides that, we're exercising and we're doing it big. Um, I ran to the White House and back. And that was 8.7 miles. And when I came back on base, I um, I ran some more. All in all, I did 13.1 miles yesterday. And that's 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 the record. That's a new record for me. I beat my old record. I did 10 miles before, which was my my greatest record. Because normally I run six miles average uh, a day. But even though I took my break seven days, my my the area that's hurting me is still hurting me. So um, I gotta go to the doctor, figure out what's wrong with that area. And so we can recover properly. Maybe I need two weeks off, three weeks off, but it was definitely hurting, but I pushed through it and I'm back. So um, just, uh, we're, we're still living, drinking a lot of water, gallons of water on a daily now. Uh, water is my best friend, even though I'm, I'm, I'm eating. I'm cheating a little bit with my with my food that I'm eating. I'm eating. I went to Krispy Kreme the other day, got some donuts and stuff. So, and then I got some some other stuff in my bag that I'm about to eat on. But I, it's not every day that I do that. You're allowed to do so. So 